Some post for you, Poirot. Mr. Hercule Poirot, you fancy yourself, don't you, at solving mysteries that are too difficult for our poor, thick-head British police? Let us see, Mr. Clever Poirot, just how clever you can be. Perhaps you'll find this nut too hard to crack. Look out for Endover on the 21st of the month. Yours extra, A, B, C. Oh, it's some sort of joke. Maybe, but please remind me to inform Chief Inspector Jap. It's here, Poirot. The murder took place in this street. Grim place indeed. Tout à fait, Hastings. The streets of Andover are in a terrible state. Look, there's Chief Inspector Jap. He's talking with a policeman. Let us try not to get our shoes wet. Don't dilly-dally, Poirot. Jap will be waiting for us. Over here, it's Hastings and Poirot. You missed the nine o'clock train? We... So, Chief Inspector, what do we have? The victim is called Alice Asher. She owned this tobacco shop. She was killed yesterday with a blow to the back of the head. At what time? Let me just check. Is Jap being too relaxed? Let us find the clues that prove it. Jap is in a good mood. I bet he thinks he is already called the culprit. The last customer to see Mrs. Asher alive left her shop at half past five. 
The body was found at around 11 in the evening by an officer doing his rounds. The shop door was open. That's what alerted him. Had anything been taken? A little tobacco, maybe, but you'd hardly murder for a few smokes. There's nothing of any real value in the shop. What type of woman was Miss Zesha? In her fifties. Married, but separated. No children. A husband? Aha, uh -huh, Franz Usher, the husband. Alcoholic and violent. It's said that he regularly insulted his wife and threatened to kill her. Do you think he's guilty? We'll look for Franz Usher. If he doesn't have an alibi, the case is closed. A very unoriginal murder. But that. May I examine the crime scene? Of course, old chap. I'll be with you in a minute, Poirot. This fruit and vegetable shop has a front row seat, therefore, an employee might have noticed something. It's not just any railway guide, it's an ABC. It's open at the letter A. There are no prints on the book. Red liquid is oozing out. Is it blood? No, it's just some strawberries that are losing their juice. They probably come from the fruit and vegetable shop opposite. The counter is covered with fingerprints all on top of one another. Unfortunately, it will not be possible to use them. The place is unusually tidy for a crime scene. 